you got niggas saying, oh, it's control opposition. That's Esau pushing those artists out. To do. Hey, you ain't doing nothing but what the Heavenly Fathers did, uh, wanted you to do, man. Uh, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah is the control opposition, okay? Esau ain't running shit, man. You can't control opposition the most high, man. Who, right. has ever, who has ever resisted his will, man? Right, exactly. Read Exodus 1 through 12, man. Exactly. Just exactly. read. Exactly. Exactly. Young, young Kodak. <laughs> young Kodak got on his shit. Um, he, cause he, cause he a Levite. He, he put Levite. That he ain't lying. Shit. Right. That's the fucking truth. Right. I ain't get mad at that. Yeah, for real. It just goes to show that it's coming out, man. Yep. This shit coming out. It's now become trendy on every platform. Yeah, cause, cause Israelites from now until forever gonna be the trending topic, man. Right, that's right, that's right. We gonna be inhabiting planets. It's just gonna be all Israel from here on out, man. That's right. Esau, you gonna fucking die, man. You gonna be you gonna be done away with forever. That's right. That's right. It's right. It's all is. Israel from here on out. Right, and it's trendy now, but it's gonna become the standard. That's right. So it's that. really not trendy. It's the standard. It's the only standard that we are the people of the heavenly Father. That's okay? right. So, you know, now, yeah, it, it seems trendy, but we, we believe the whole heart. We've been doing this thing, man. Our elders been doing the pushing this work, man. 30 years, man. So, you know, the standard is about to be set up. And those of you that don't want the standard to be set up, you're going to be at enmity with the Heavenly Father and His Son. And He's going to slay you. That's right. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, God, this is Galatians 13 and 8. It says, well, we can do nothing against the truth, but be but for the truth. Ain't nothing could come against this. That's why even, you know, for brothers to say, you know, when we go through chastisement and all, it's really for you. Right, that's right. When you uh, go through that shit, getting up every morning and, some, and bullshit, keep having bullshit after bullshit after bullshit, it's for you because that, it is for you because the scripture will tell you or it describe his man that he going to say <laughs> that they're going to go through all those things. So even when, when bullshit happens to you, it's really for you. So on a major scale, with, with if somebody saying Israel this, Israel that, it's for Israel. Right. When they come out and try to demonize us, it's for Israel. When they come out and try to demonize us, that means the the the, uh, the family of the word gonna come soon. Right. And that means the chip gonna come soon. And that means we gonna get out of here soon. Salvation. Salvation. Right. Come, hey, and Lord willing, spiritual powers too. Yeah. What the fuck yeah. you mean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See, cause we just want to be saved. We, you know what I'm saying? Like, but you got women coming by the droves. You know, spiritual power to put a, a, a royal foot up through people's ass, man. You know, that's stuff we look forward to. But we're going to deal with first thing first, which is pushing this word. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to deal with the hell that we have to deal with day in and day out. Because guess what? That builds us up in the faith. And once we build up and they get to 100%, it's all, it's, hey, game on, man. Check me. Check me. Through the spirit and power you how about Shimmy Al Shah, man. Right. Oh, no, I was just going to say that, uh, you know, we, we're still under the curses, man. Right. And that's uh, acknowledging, that's like one of the first things to get into the truth. Like, yeah, we're under the curses. But this is how the Lord's, like, lifting up some of these curses by letting us know that we're Israelites, man. Right. But we know we got to go through hell, but we're still under the curses. We're not in our, in our kingdom yet. Right. right? So if you got that type of mindset, this shit is nothing. Like, I was just telling the brother when we were driving, um, you know, down to here at the camp, man. Like, we haven't seen nothing yet. We haven't seen martial law. We haven't seen... People in wheelchairs getting a wig split, just for, you know. To, you know, we haven't seen nothing. We haven't seen Russia wild out. We haven't seen uh, the big World War Three. This is nothing. The chariots, like right now, all we're doing is pushing the word, man. And if this is hell for you, man, you ain't gonna make it when real hell starts breaking out. When they start shutting down these streets, man, and they start telling you, get your ass in your house. We on the what's known as uh, uh, what's they call that curfew. All right, that's coming to every major city, man. Curfew, you can't get out till uh, uh, after 10 p.m. Or they might even say 8 p.m. Six. 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 And it ain't far fetched. Look what happened in Baltimore when that shit happened, man. Curfew. Yep. So they go bring curfew to every major city, especially this wicked ass place here in Miami. Because yep. majority of you people in Miami are fucking wicked, man. Yep. That's right. Goombas. Goombas, stupid motherfuckers, man. Oh, Our sentiment is when that martial law and all that shit go down and the curfews, we gonna be happy. You know, shit, shit gonna be crazy out here, but we gonna be happy because it, it's gonna show us that we that much closer. Right. That we out of here real soon, man. Real soon. Got quick reset, man. Uh, Book of Amos, chapter 6, verse 1. Woe to them that are at ease in Zion mm -hmm. and trust in the mountain of Samaria, which are named chief of the nations to whom the house of Israel came. Mm -hmm. 
Right. Woe to you that are at ease in America. Mm -hmm. That's just fine with America. Because the Lord hates America. Mm -hmm. right. America is at Sodom and Gomorrah. Right. So you need to be as Lot was. Lot, Lot was frustrated. Lot was angry with the, with the wickedness that was going on in Sodom and Gomorrah. Therefore, Lot got saved out of it. But if you cool with America and you, you want to be here and you cool, you got your 401k or, you know, you just got a, a new whip or whatever, you got a couple babies or whatever, and you just cool, you find with that, the Lord going to destroy you because you're an enemy of the Lord. Because the Lord's plan is to actually come back and destroy this place. So if you ain't looking forward to that, you are an enemy of him. The Lord going to put you to death along with all these so-called white people who are the devil and all these heathens and all the wicked, man. That's right. Because you joined unto to them. Facts. If you at ease at this place, something wrong with you, man. This shit wicked as hell, man. You subject to all type of payments, yep. child support, this and that, all type of taxes. That You, you can't live in, uh, in, and be at ease in this shit unless your mind is all the way fucked up and screwed up by Satan. Because even your goodies is right. Right. Like you were saying, you got your couple babies. They don't listen. They don't listen. They don't listen unless you got a million dollars. <laughs> and then, okay, say you got a million dollars and they listen. Them hoes done took 30 rods already. That's they right. defiled. So they really not your woman. You that's know what right. I'm saying? This money that you got in your pocket, in your bank account, that's not money. That's right. That's, that's a, a, a fiat yeah. currency, man. Mm -hmm. Meaning let it be. Meaning let it be what the elites wanted to be. The yeah, elites right. say it's obsolete, it's obsolete, yeah. and your ass out of gas. Right. So you go from being thirty million dollars rich to, to zero. Right. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Straight yeah. to the concentration yeah. camp yeah. with the niggas who you was talking about. Hey, get your money up, nigga. Yeah. And them same yeah. niggas gonna be looking at you like 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 a, a lamb chop, baby. Yeah. They gonna beat you. Yeah. Woe well, them trust in Samaria. The scriptures all say woe well, them trust in Asia because they trusted in Obama. And the, and the Lord made it so Obama eased out of there. And these people still like worshiping Obama. And Obama <laughs> made it to Obama made the executive orders that when martial law happened, um, the, the president gonna be able to just um, do whatever he the fuck he want to do, man. That's right. And hey. be a dictator. So yeah, like, all right, look who he set it up for. Trump, Trump. Trump. <laughs> we don't give a shit about you, you nappy head niggas, man. That's you think right. Obama ain't no Trump is gonna be next? Yeah, come on. That's the Trump right there. You got Trump. Trump Two-thirds got Trump with that. <laughs> I vote for Hillary. Where Hillary at now for your ass? <laughs> she out there in the street still, 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 you know, you know? Second question. Yeah, this is Isaiah chapter 13, verse 1. The burden of Babylon, which Isaiah the son of Amos did see. Lift thee up a banner upon the high mountain. Exalt the voice unto them. Shake the hand that they may go into the gates of the nobles. Right. I have commanded my sanctified ones. I have also called my mighty ones for mine anger, even them that rejoice in my highness. Okay, and that's, you know, that's what the Lord has called us to do, man. To come out here and set up the banner, man. Set up the standard, man, which is this truth. Upon the high mountain, which is Babylon, man. Okay, which is America. America is the highest government, the highest... Um, nation on the planet earth right now man whether you want whether or not you want to believe it it is still so man okay and uh, you know again you know this this truth is out there man it's it's, it's becoming more known uh what you know that there there are people out there calling themselves israelites man okay pushing this truth man it's 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 not like a mystery anymore man it's not man ain't no getting around it ain't no hiding it either man Right. It's talking about America. America is that high amount. What what is the net? What is the uh, international currency? It ain't the pound. It ain't the euro. The reserve currency is the American dollar. It's the American dollar. They rule the world. People be acting. I just say that because people be acting stupid sometimes. Yeah, they acting. Yeah, they do. Stupid. Nah, man. And, and right in the, in the third verse, it says, "I have commanded my sanctified ones." I have also called my mighty ones for my anger, even them that rejoice in my highness, man. Okay, so the most I command us to come out here and do this, but also that's to prepare the, uh, the the day of the Lord, man. The Lord's commanded his mighty ones, his angels, man, the chariots to come and fuck this place up, man. Okay, so we got to roll out the red carpet, so to speak, you know, blow the trumpet to, uh, you know, announce the coming of our Lord, man. Okay, he's going to come and he's going to destroy the kingdoms of this world, man. He's going to establish his kingdom, man, and it's going to be forever and ever, man. Laying down the palm trees. God. This time he ain't coming on the ass. Yeah. Finish with that, Lloyd? This is Revelations. This is Revelations chapter 1. Uh, I, I 
I'll start at 5. Revelation 1 and 5. And from Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his, blood, in his own blood. Verse 6. And have made us kings and priests unto Yahweh and his father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amon. Verse 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds, right. and every mm -hmm. eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, Amon. How did you take that lightly, man? People take that lightly, like this, like this. Yeah, they ain't read it, but they done heard it to this point now. Yeah. Folks done heard it. They done heard it. They know, they know though. They know he's yeah. not coming back to hand out flowers and shit. They hope that's what he's coming to do. But they know what it is. And that's why they, you know, hey, that's why they always say, oh, uh, he without sin cast the first stone. We're not, we're not throwing stones. We're throwing precepts at your ass. We're right. throwing swords at you. Yeah. And they're chopping your goddamn head off. And it's getting you tenderized for the Heavenly Father and His Son to murder you, man. I mean, Sorry. to kill you, slock you. They know the Lord coming back like that. That's why they say they hope he don't come back in their lifetime. Right. They know it, man. And they, you know, Jake know how to lie to themselves. And make themselves believe that lie. So, in the scripture say that. Uh, or make yourself believe a lie. They don't want that, but you're going to feel it, man. Because it's a serious business. When we when we heard that, the Lord put the spirit on us to, to really be... To dig into it and be concerned, like shit. Be vigilant. For us, it was when the, um, the Pope. <laughs> oh, man. What, what happened? He, he, he resigned. Was mad, yeah. Feel like, oh shit. And that's when we were coming to the truth. Feel like, but it goes to show that because anybody in their right mind know that the Lord don't play no, no games, man. If you really got faith in this Bible, man. It's it's Isaiah 66 and 15. Uh -huh. It says, For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. Yeah, man, so the Lord's going to come back, man. He's going to come back angry, man. He's going to come back on his, on his chariots with a world even called UFO, man, to render his anger, man. The Lord is angry with this place, man. It's he, it. No, go ahead, I'll go ahead. Yeah, man, the Lord angry with this place, man. He's going to destroy the whole of America, man. With, with the chariots along with the uh, intercontinental ballistic missiles that's going to hit this place, man. And read again, it says, For behold, the Lord will come with fire and his chariots like a whirlwind to bring his anger with fury and his brute with flames of fire. It says, verse 16, For by hey, fire. It's a lot. The Lord going to come back and hand out vision spinners <laughs> <laughs> to everybody. <laughs> no. The Lord going to hand out rebuke, man. For, for all the homosexuality. For all the abominations that's done in this place, for all for these people eating all type of abomination, eating pork, and not hey, I know one thing. Everybody the heard you ain't supposed to eat pork and all that shit, right? I heard the Migos say that shit. Yep. The Migos saying, and that's the hottest rap group out now. Them niggas, dude said I know I ain't supposed to be eating pork. The Lord said it. He ain't say, you know, the doctor said it. He said the Lord said we're not supposed to eat pork. Got one up. Even with us. We don't go at our job telling everybody the truth, but we be like, man, you shouldn't eat that pork. You know, just saying it. And they be like, why you don't eat pork? Like, you know, and the Bible say don't eat pork. That's why I don't eat pork. So these folks hear it, man. The Lord finna come back and hand out the rebukes and she has on to be hard headed. Let me say the scripture again. One more. It's Isaiah 66 and 16. It says, For by fire and by his sword would the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. Yeah, man. The slain of the Lord shall be few. And and the slain of the Lord shall be many. Shall be many, man. Many. That's right. In droves. In droves. <laughs> hey, and look, man. Look, where, 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 where did Isaiah get that understanding from? From reading the law. From understanding the law, the law which is you're not supposed to eat abominations. And what did Yahweh shall say? Hey, if they didn't hear Moses' words, they're not going to believe my words. Because right. Moses wrote of me. Yahweh shall is the law, man. And... and Isaiah got it from the Lord. The Lord showed Isaiah visions. So right. these people don't believe in Isaiah. They don't believe in nothing. They don't believe that nope. the Lord nope. showed Isaiah the seraphims and all that. Nope. They don't believe. They don't believe nothing, man. You got so-called Christians who be like Paul was going off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They yeah, say I it. Heard it. I heard it. They, they say Paul lied about this. 
And that's why the Lord gonna kill two thirds of our people, man. And it's Esau. Esau the one who pushed the shit. Man, too. Come on, go ahead. Huh? This is Sirach 39 and 27. All these things are for good to the godly. So the sinners, they are turned into evil. Yet be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Yeah, man. Um, the Lord got plenty, plenty of different ways to kill you niggas, man. And like the brothers was talking about earlier, these Christians, they'll, they'll, they'll say like even Paul going off, man, which they're going off, man, because some, something that's good and that's that's righteous to the to the wicked is evil, man. Yep. And for that, the Lord is gonna fucking destroy their ass, man, in multiple ways, man. Verse twenty nine: fire and hell, and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents and the sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. They shall rejoice in His commandment, and they shall be ready upon earth when need is. And their time is come, they shall not transgress his words. So basically, man, the, these instruments that the Lord has set up, whatever it may be, man, they just waiting for that green light, man, that straight go, man. And it's in it's in it's war time, man. Yes, um, what the brother was saying about um, Paul. This second second Peter is three and sixteen. As also in his epistles, speaking of them of these things, in which are some things hard to be understood, which they that are unlearned and unstable rest. So them that are unlearned and unstable, y'all read Paul's writing, y'all y'all wrestle with them, y'all go to and fro. That's why I say Paul Paul going off, man, Paul contradicting himself. Because you don't understand his writings. Paul was a master in the law, and you niggas be the main one saying the law done away with. So for you don't understand Paul, you gotta understand the laws first, man. Right. And um as they as they do also other scriptures. So these same niggas, they wrestle with other scriptures too. Like John 3:16. These same niggas would be like, yeah, it's saying um the Lord gonna save the whole world. These niggas, that's like they wrestle with Paul, Paul writers, they wrestle with all the other scriptures too. Man. Um, unto their own destruction. Unto your own destruction, because you lack understanding, you lean into your own understanding, and for that, the Lord going to destroy you, at least you repent, man. That's spirit, that's exactly what I'm going to say. They, instead of listening to Paul, they just going to lean into their own understanding. But they, they say, they know they ain't supposed to kill, that's in the law. But the law also tell you you ain't supposed to eat pork, but you, you disregard that, you know? Okay, uh, just to uh, line back what you were saying about the, the, the uh, Yahweh Shai is the law. Uh, this is the book of Luke, chapter 24, verse 44. And he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you, while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled which were written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. Verse 45. Then open he their understanding that they might understand the scriptures, man. So the, the laws of Moses, that's not done away with. The Psalms, okay, the prophecies, that's not done away with, man. We're still in the time of prophecy, so, though, so for you to say that, oh, we can't uh, uh, eat any pork, that's done away with, you're going off, man. This is Yahushua speaking too. And what's proof of that? You niggas getting hypertension and diabetes and getting your foot cut off and got holes in the bottom of your foot. Diabetic holes in your feet. Why? From eating shit that the Heavenly Father said don't eat, man. What are you talking about? It's done away. You being judged. That's judgment. Okay? Man, look, I got a rundown on, you know, it says, um, what Paul are you following? Okay? We ain't got to get these scriptures, but it's just a little quick breakdown. It says, Paul told us to follow his example. Example, That's Philippians 3 and 17. Paul always kept the Sabbath. That's in Acts 17 and 2, Acts 18 and 4. 
Paul kept the feast days. That's Acts 20 and 6. Acts 20 and 16. New Testament now, by the way. Yeah. It says, uh, Paul instructed us to keep the feast. 1 Corinthians 5, 7 and 8. Paul believed all of the Torah. Acts 24 and 14. Paul told us to uphold the Torah. Romans 3 and 31. Right. Paul taught from the Torah. Acts 28 and 23. Paul ordered the Torah, obeyed the Torah, Acts 21 and 24, Romans 7 and 25. Paul took delight in the Torah, Romans 7 and 22. So what book are you people reading, man? So when y'all take the test, you're going to get a zero, and the professor's going to be like, you ain't even study at all. Double F. You ain't even study. You was trying to cheat, but you got you still got a zero. Double L. <laughs> Jake just put down D, 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 D. You know, you got A, B, C, D on, on, on the exams. They just, put, they just put down D. And they still get it wrong. <laughs> Everything wrong. Abacadabra. <laughs> uh, hold on. Uh, get that real quick. This is Acts uh, 24 and 14. But I confess, well, Salakia, but this I confess unto thee, that after the way that they call heresy, her uh, heresy so worship I, the God of my fathers, believing all things which are written in the law and the prophets. Okay? So you, you hey man, you motherfuckers, man. <laughs> Paul, that's Paul speaking. Yeah. I had to say it like that, man. You motherfuckers <laughs> talk about Paul was going off, man. Y'all the same niggas that was back there calling Paul a heretic, man. Yep. Okay, which they call of, heresy. Which they call heresy, okay? Them other, them other wicked niggas in Jerusalem, man. Okay? And that he was, he said that he believed all the things that were written.